Welcome to the testing world. So in this session, we are going to configure a Maven project and going to add all the basic dependencies. So these are the minimum set of dependencies which are required for the data driven framework. We need to add Selenium Java library, Apache POI, it is for reading and writing data to the Excel sheets, extent report that is for generating reports and test ng. So these are the basic set of libraries which are required. I'm just moving to Eclipse. First of all, I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to create a Java project. I'm just giving the name data driven automation. You can give any name over here. I'm just giving data driven automation. It's a simple Java project. If you want to use Maven, so I need to convert this project to the Maven format. So just right click on the project, configure, convert to Maven project. So this project is going to convert into the Maven format. Here, no need to make any changes. Just click on the finish. So as we convert our project into Maven format, it is going to generate a file with the name pom.xml. And we know that all the dependencies or I'll say libraries which are required in our project, we need to maintain over here. I'm just going to the dependencies in this pom.xml. So for adding these dependencies, first I'm going to moving to the website with the name maven mvn repository.com. Here first we need selenium java. Selenium java dependency, I just click on this. Which version you want to use? So I want to use the latest version which is 3.4.0. I click on this. Here we have three data which we need to copy. One is group ID. So from here I need to copy first group ID. Moving to the Eclipse, adding dependency and paste it over here. In the same way I am copying artifact ID and version is 3.4.0. So artifact ID is this, version is 3.4.0. So here one dependency is added. I'm just moving to Maven dependency site, mavenrepository.com and the second dependency that we need is test ng. So I just mentioned test ng. Click here and which version you want to use? So I want to use 6.9.10. So I just click on this. Again, we need to copy the same options like group ID is this. So I just mentioned group ID and if you check artifact ID is test ng version is 6.9.10. So artifact ID is test ng and the version is this. So that's the second dependency. Third we need Apache POI. So I'm coming here again. Apache POI. So I just mentioned POI. For this, we need two dependencies that we need to add is POI and POI OXML. So first I'm going to the POI and whatever the version, like I want to use the version which is 3.14. You can use latest version as well. So I'm just copying this again, group ID and moving for the R defect ID which is a POI and version is 3.14. So POI and 3.14. In the same way, in the same way I need to copy from Apache POI OXML. So again, same version which we have used for the POI, we need to use for the POI OXML. So 3.14 and again, org apache poi that's my group id i just copied that and my artifact id would be i'm just checking here it's poi o xml and version is 3.14 so this and version is 3.14 so we have added selenium libraries or i'll say dependency test ng dependency apache poi the fourth one is 
if we notice here that's a extent report for a reporting so i'm coming here extent report if we are not finding here i'm just going to the google and searching for extent report maven dependency so maven repository i'm coming here and it shows which version you want to use so i just want to use the latest version which is 2.41.2 again we just need to copy this and add it to the form.xml so extent report 2.41.2 is the version 2.41.2 done so all the basic dependencies or i'll say libraries which are required for this data driven framework are added here in this form.xml just save it so i press ctrl s you will notice it is building our workspace here once it is done you can go to the maven dependency and all the libraries like selenium java is here if you notice pui is here testng is here so here we can check all the libraries are downloaded and added with the project by the maven so our first structure is done here we have configured a maven project and adding all the dependencies which are required next we'll start by creating configurable files that we will cover in the next session that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video hello all hope you enjoy this video if you have any questions regarding this video please ask in the comment section and also please like and subscribe for more software testing courses also we are offering a wonderful package of software testing online video courses in dollar 200 find us on facebook for more offers and updates here is the url facebook.com testing word india